past 10 years were the hottest decade ever recorded. The Arctic is literally melting. Parts are actually on fire. What we're seeing in America and our communities is connected to all of this. With every bout with nature's fury caused by our own inaction on climate change, more, more Americans see and feel the devastation, whether in a big city, small towns, on coastlines, or in farmlands. It's happening everywhere, and it's happening now. Hurricanes don't swerve to avoid red states or blue states. Wildfires don't skip towns that voted a certain way. The impacts of climate change don't pick and choose. That's because it's not a partisan phenomenon. It's science. And our response should be the same, grounded in science, acting together, all of us. But like with our federal response to COVID-19, the lack of a national strategy on climate on climate change overall leaves us with a patchwork of solutions. As a matter of fact, it's been made worse by the changes this administration has made. He's already said he wanted to withhold aid to California, to punish the people of California, because they didn't vote for him. This is another crisis, another crisis he won't take responsibility for. The West is literally on fire and he blames the people whose homes and communities are burning. He says, quote, you got to clean your floors, you got to clean your forest. This is the same president who threw paper towels on the people of Puerto Rico instead of truly helping them recover and rebuild. Wildfires are burning the suburbs in the West. Floods are wiping out suburban neighborhoods in the Midwest. Hurricanes are imperiling suburban life along our coast. If we have four more years of Trump's climate denial, how many suburbs will be burned in wildfires? How many suburban neighborhoods will have been flooded out? How many suburbs will have been blown away in superstorms? If you give a climate arsonist four more years in the White House, why would anyone be surprised if we have more America blaze? While he turns against our allies, I'll bring us back into the Paris Agreement. I'll put us back in the business of leading the world on climate change. And I'll challenge every other country to up the ante on climate commitments. You know, when Donald Trump thinks about climate change, he thinks hoax. When I think about it, I think jobs. Good paying union jobs that put Americans to work, building a stronger, more climate resilient nation.